gave you away because you were gay. And but you just told my you. family to shut up, so how do I not have family? Dude, seriously, <laughs> you have like a third grade education. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you're, you're dumb. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You learn how to fucking talk shit before you even get on here. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. See, how many do the, um, the curfew tolls the knell of parting day. The lowering herd went slowly o'er the lay. The plowman homeward plods his weary way and leaves the world to darkness shut and to me. Up. Now fades the glowing up, landscape man. on the sight, and all the air a solemn stillness holds, save where the beetle wheels his drowning flight, and drowsy right. tinklings Having lull the distant folds. Save that from yonder ivory-mantled tower the moping owl does to the moon complain, of such as wandering near her secret bower molest her ancient solitary lane. Beneath the rugged elms that yew tree shade, where heaves the turf of many a moldering hey man, what heap, the fuck is that? Shut up. each with his narrow cell forever laid, the fo rude hey, forefathers of the hamlet sleep. I open the door. The breezy door. call of incense breathing morn, the swallow twittering from the straw built shed, oh, man. Dude, the cock shrill clarion or the echoing horn, no more shall rouse them from their lowly bed. For oh, them no God. more the blazing hearth shall burn, or busy housewife like ply their evening it? care. No children oh run God. to lisp their sire's return, or climb his knees oh and be kissed up, to shame. Oft did the harvest to their sickle yield, their furrow oft the stubborn glebe has broke. How jocund did they drive their team afield, how bowed the woods beneath their sturdy stroke. Let not ambition mock their useful toil, their homely joys and destiny obscure, nor grandeur hear with a disdainful smile, the short and simple annals of the poor. The boast of ferrothery, the pomp of oh power, my God. and all that beauty, all that wealth there gave, what awaits alike the inevitable hour, the paths of glory lead but to the grave. <laughs> Nor you, ye proud and pew, to these the fault, of memory or the tomb no trophies raise, where through the long-drawn aisle and fretted vault, the bleeding <laughs> anthem swells the note of praise. Can storied urn or animated bus back in its mansion call the fleeting breath? Can honor's voice provoke the silent dust? Or flattery soothe the cold ear of death. Perhaps in this neglected spot is laid some heart once pregnant with celestial fire, hands that the rod of empire might have swayed, or wake to lex ecstasy the living lyre. But knowledge to their eyes her ample page, rich with the spoils of time, did e'er unroll, till Penry repressed their noble rage and froze the genial current of the soul. And the sound is so to kick your mother. Shut up! <laughs> hey man, what was that? Full many a gem of purest what race the, the dark unfathomed caves of ocean bare. Full many a flower is born to blush unseen and waste its sweetness on the desert air. Some village Hampton that with dauntless breast the little tyrant of his fields withstood. Some mute and glorious Milton here may rest. Some Cromwell guiltless of his country's bro? blood. Yeah, the applause man. of listening synods to command, plane? the threats of pain and ruin oh to despise, I can to scatter plenty the, o'er a smiling land, the, and read the history in a nation's talking? eyes. Their lot forbade, not circumscribed I, I alone, plane. their growing this, virtues but their crimes oh, confined, this guy, this guy, forbade this guy, to wade talking. through slaughter to a throne, and shut the gates of mercy on oh mankind. My God, I can't the struggling care, pains dude. of consciousness, oh, truth to hide, to quench the blushes of ingenious shame or heap the shrine of luxury and pride with incense kindled at the muse's flame. Oh my god. Enemy spy plane incoming. Is this guy just fucking talking or playing? It's a, it's a... Far from the maddening oh my god. and the strife, their sober wishes never learn to stray. Along the cool sequestered oh lay, veils of life, they kept their oh noiseless tenors of their way. Yet even these bones from insult to protect, some frail memorial still erected oh, by. He said it right. With rhymes and shameless scripture decked, oh my God, the passing just... tribute of a sigh. Up. Their name, their years, spelt by the unlettered muse, the place of flame and fear elegy supply. And many a holy text around she strews, I can't that take teach any more, the rustic man. moralist to die. 
For who to dumb forgetfulness a prey, this pleasing anxious being ne'er resigned, left the warm precincts of the cheerful day, nor cast that? one longing, lingering look behind. On some yeah, fond breast the weeping soul relies, some pious drops the closing eye requires. Even from the tomb the voice of nature cries, even in our ashes live their wanted fires. For thee who mindful of the unhonored dead, dost to their lines their artless tale relate. If changed by lonely contemplation led, some kindred spirit shall inquire thy fate. Happy some hoary-headed slain may say, oft have we seen him in the deep of dawn, brushing with hasty steps the dews away, to meet the sun upon the upland lawn. There at the foot of yonder nodding breach, that wreathes its old fantastic roots so high, his list's length at noontime, <laughs> he said hi. and pour upon the brook that battles by. Hen by yon wood, now smiling <laughs> he as in said scorn, wood. muttering his wayward <laughs> fancies, he would remove. Now drooping woeful wan, like one forlorn, or crazed with care, or crossed in hopeless love. One morn I missed him on the customed hill, along the hearth Come and near his favorite out. tree. Another came, nor yet beside Come the rill, nor up the lawn, nor Come at here. the wood was he. The next with dirges due and sad array, slow through the churchway path we saw out. him born. Approach and read, for thou canst read the lay, graved on the stone beneath <clears throat> yon aged thorn. Here rests his head upon the lap of the earth, a youth to fortune and to fame unknown. Fair science frowned not on his humble birth, and melancholy marked him for her own. Large was his bounty, and his soul sits here. Heaven did a recompense as largely send. He gave to misery, twas all he had, a tear. He gained from heaven, twas all he wished, a friend. No further seek his merits to disclose, or draw his frailties from their dread abode. There they alike in trembling hope repose, the bosom of his father and his god. <coughs> you said bosom. Elegy written in a country churchyard by Thomas Gray. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you done? I think he's done. Do a poem about farts. Do a poem about farts? If he's reading poems, <laughs> he's because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The, the carriage fuck? held just ourselves and immortality. We slowly drove. Yeah. He knew no haste, and I had put away my labor and my leisure too, for his civility. We passed the school where children strove at recess, in the ring. We passed the fields of grazing grain. We pass the setting sun. I like recess. Or rather, he passed us. The dews drew, quivering he and chill. Gas. For only gossamer, my gone. My tippet, only tool. We paused before a house that seemed a swelling of the ground. The <laughs> roof was scarcely swelling. visible. The conrice. Hey, shut the up! Ground. Let him finish the story. Since then, shut to up. centuries, and yet. Feels shorter than the day I first surmised the horses' heads towards eternity. That guy. Just fucking mow my lawn. That. That rapier guy. This guy's trying to finish his palm thing, but this dumbass keeps on interrupting him.